Ask a fish head anything you want to, they won't answer, they can't talk. Um, well, it's just beyond midday, it's actually 12 to 2, and um, it's a bit bright, isn't it? But it is quite bright out there, even though it's cloudy, a bit cloudy. But great, I've uh, <clears throat> been out and done a bit more digging. I know if you saw the film that I put on just previous to this, um, I don't really, you know, I can't show too much. But uh, the digging has begun. Um, I've been... Uh, asked by someone to debate my point of view on uh, the shape of, of the earth it not being a spinning ball it's very bright this um well how do you debate the objective truth um see i'm being accused of um um not budging from my point of view. Um, well, I have done. Of course I have. I used to believe that we lived on a spinning ball. Now, how, how much more of a jump or a shift of my point of view would you like me to, would you like to see, <laughs> you know, because I, I'm not, I'm really not close minded. If I, um, found evidence to suggest otherwise the contrary then and I did and that's not only evidence but downright absolute total proof so therefore I I have debated before uh, just really to um, placate other people to um, I told them that actually um, this for me is it's not a debatable point it's a fact. You can't debate facts. You can discuss them by all means, but you you really can't debate them because, um, well, um, I'm trying to think of an example. But uh, my dad, um, my dad. Now I didn't have. Uh, it's not a very good, very good example. This because it's. Well, I'll tell you, I didn't have absolute proof that my dad was my biological father, but I can damn well tell you he was, just because of certain similarities in our um, in our bodies. Um, so, um, yes, it is possible. That somebody else, uh, we'll have to ask my mum about that, of course, um, is my father. But I would um, 100 percent say that he that he really was. Now, that isn't a very good example I've just given you there. But you see, the fact that it is what it is, the Earth. You know, the the water doesn't curve. It's up to the people who think that water does curve to bring their proof to me or their evidence, because I, I will gladly discuss this all day long, but I'm not going to discuss it in the comment section. Um, you can email me. Um, uh, you can, I think my email's on the um, uh, channel. Um, you know, gmail.com. Um, or you can even phone me up if you know my telephone number. Um, but then my battery's knackered just now. I'll have to get another one. It, it lasts about um, 30 seconds and then it's dead. Ah, the, um, it is a very old phone. But on the one of the um, discussions I had 
um, with a ball believer, I told him about the um, Bedford level experiment that was done by uh, Robotham in the 1870s, was it? 18, somewhere around there. Now this piece of canal is six miles long, this stretch of canal, six miles long, and it's perfectly straight. So in six, six miles, you should have, I think, 16 foot of curve. Or I think it's 12 foot. Now, anyway, so the, um, the instigator, uh, Robotham, was uh, looking through a telescope eight inches above the water and watched a man in a rowing boat rowing away from him for six miles. And during the six miles, he was able to keep the whole boat, oh, sorry, the boat had a flag in it. And the flag was something like, I think it was 12 foot tall, or, you know, it, it, I can't really say, but what I, it doesn't really matter because throughout the whole of the time when he was rowing away from him, he was, Robotham was able to, keep, able to keep this fella in full view, right down to the bottom of the hull of the boat. Now, if, that, if, the, if there were a curve on the earth, then the boat uh, and the man and the flag, I think, maybe just, would have disappeared. But none of them disappeared. And I told this to the chap I was di uh, discussing with, and he said, well, if that's true, then the Earth's flat. And I said, yes, it is flat. But he was trying to say, halfway through this, because he was clutching at straws, he was trying to say that that the it, the curve was built in to the canal bottom. I said, you, you can't look. Even if it were, if 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 it were to build a curve into the canal, the water would remain flat and level. Now this chap, I regard him as is. It's quite intelligent, but is a different type of intelligence. He's more academic, and that again is quite a problem because academia believes academia, and they don't believe practical, um, objective experiments that the common man can do. If he doesn't have a white lab coat on, is dismissed as a you know, not a fool, but he isn't qualified to do this. Now, I find that quite offensive. Um, we are all, every one of us, scientists. Um, the scientists out there will, you know, the scientists call themselves scientists with lab coats on. Will oh no, you're not. Oh yes, we are. It's almost pantomime season. Oh yes, we are. We see the moon and the sun, uh, we see the grass grow, we see die bark, we see, you know, we are scientists. We've, obs we've observed, we've recorded in here all that going on, which makes us scientists. Fish in the sea live, fish on the land die. Um, we can all work things out for ourselves. We can read about them. Um, but how do we know that information is correct? We don't, until we observe them ourselves. So what I'm really saying is, if you would like to debate me on this subject, um, first of all, you will have to show me your evidence that the water curves round a ball. That's where you start with me. If you if you come with me and come to me and say, well, the this consolation that I, I don't care a toss about what goes on up there. That's got nothing to do with with the shape of the 
um, Earth that we're on. And all that can be explained anyway. I, um, but it, it just... Um, I, can, I really can understand why you would still think you're on a spinning ball. But years ago, um, look, the, the, in my opinion, there was never any knuckle-dragging cavemen going ug ug, And we didn't evolve from anything. We were always, um, we were always, as we appear right now, Maybe our styles, clothes-wise, and hairstyles and stuff have differed. Maybe mine not so much. Over the, you know, millennia that we've been here, perhaps, or we've maybe just been here two or three hundred years. We don't really know. How, um, okay, we're a little bit longer than that, maybe a thousand years, just from the artifacts left behind, but, um, um, four and a four point three billion years is it the Earth? <laughs> Come on, uh, that is bullshit. Um, the the one of the facts uh, about the um, the Earth is, of course, it's got more land than we are um, um, led to believe, because of course a globe has a finite amount of surface area in which you can put oceans and land. But this is just speculation, but there's got to be more land. Uh, our puddle that's melted, yes, it's got the continents that we all know. I, mean, I can't doubt that. I don't doubt it. Um, but what about beyond that? Is there another sun somewhere? that's out of our view, because the sun does go out of our view. It goes far enough away that we can't see it every day, um, every night, maybe. Um, and so why not? Why, why um, don't rule out the fact that there could be more suns? But let's not speculate. Let's just deal with what we know. So I can, and I will, show you that... The stretch of sea, 10 miles, it's probably more than 10 miles, I've just given it a very conservative estimate of 10 miles, and I'll get my straight edge, it hasn't been clear enough yet. And I'm sure to you that there is no curve. Now, if you can show me that there is a curve, then I'll talk. Um, I'll speak to you. I'll, I'll communicate. I'll um, consider your evidence. But do you see, the spinning ball idea was dreamt up by Copernicus, um, and it was, he, the book that he published was published as he died, because he didn't want it. it, he didn't want to be alive when it was read by people who had the intelligence to dismiss it. But then he, it was, it was kind of law after that. The the um, Catholic Church, or the Christian Church, shall we say, um, imposed it on on people. And they had to believe it, like they had to believe in God. You didn't get a choice. Um, the Spanish Inquisition, um, torturing. Um, uh, it didn't just happen in Spain, let's show we say, through, throughout the whole of the uh, Christian world. That's how, that's where it spread. And it spread from that. Um, and it's a very bad idea. It's it was it was literally a witch hunt, and you were a witch and you were burned if you didn't believe in a spinning ball. How about that? How about that for um, for instilling it in here that it's a spinning ball, where practically 
it's flat and motionless.